it's spell force time. McBrady here. Another episode of the journey through the conquest of spell force of the conquest of the spell force of conquest of AO EO. However, the developers intended on us pronouncing that. We are roaming around. We've got a little group of people here. Uh oh, they're close by. Hopefully, they don't come and attack us. Oh, I didn't even think about that. We're gonna go ahead and corrode them just in case. <laughs> we had just defeated a little lodge up here, so we got some bonus stuff from them. But quite a few of our um, people died in the process. Two of our precious, precious dwarves that I'm very sad about. Wound up perishing. Oh, yeah, I can probably actually bring over, if I bring over both of these goblin archers, we probably wouldn't have much of a problem with these guys. I don't, so I st we don't have any melee units, so I still don't really want to fight them without melee units, but hey, we're here now. I think that I might need to change around my all fire flow because we're getting quite a bit of mana and I just want to pump everything into mastery proficiency. Or proficiency to get mastery. However, they want to say it. I'm fine with it. These guys are going to move over as they were selected to do to get this little cash. Got a couple of ectoplasms. A decayed, I thought I said bean. <laughs> I was like a decayed bean. Oh, that's adorable. a decayed brain. Ugh, a lot uh, more interesting than a decayed bean. That's a fairy grass. Let's go on and explore down this way. Cool. Got some, got some people here. May have something to say or do about it. So this construction construction site, blah, words are hard, grants faster and 10% cheaper room crafting when inside your domain. And we have an adventure there. The skull, I think, designates how difficult the adventure is. Adventure is just like quest, little mini quest portion, and the crowns designate that it's for a main quest. So they can't move any further. No one else can move any further, and we don't really have a spell to do. Well, let's go ahead and let's get a healing spell going. Let's get aid going. It heals them on the next turn. And I think that we can put a little bit of That's <laughs> still six turns. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get it from get the next mastery with five proficiency points. So we can go ahead and put in a decent amount of mana into that spell. Let's go ahead and end the turn. So our mastery is improved. Oh, and a little like you know fun animation happened. By mastering your magic, you have attained the title of Master Mage. Your power is increased when your towers have become bigger. It's more domain, another apprentice, and some tower room slots. That apprentice... Hey, and everyone hates that. The circle resents your growing power. I will be prepared, come what may. Ah, see? We should divert some scouting towards finding one of the rare arcane academies spread throughout the lands. Only there will you be able to choose another pupil. Which we did. Now we're able to get this mine going. Get this hunting lodge going. All we need is to get this going over here. Um, oh, because it's there on a little bridge and we can't cross the river. Just because. Okay. Do we want to fight? 
fight these guys, or do you want to just go down over here? Let's just go down over here. We'll explore out. We'll cross the river in a little bit. I don't know exactly about a little bit. See these silly little magic snipers. Domain of view affects you. See, this is this is the important thing. I'm pointing with my finger. You can't see that I'm pointing. But see, this affects me. This, theoretically, affects everybody. And it's not designated. It's not said who it affects. But it only affects my dudes. And that's silly not to be specific about it. They're going to move on forward without any context. I keep complaining about the same things. I'm going to go ahead and cease complaining about the exact same things over and over again. We're going to move forward here. We've got some interesting different ways that we can do this. We go here and we get a um, full yellow eyeball. So that means that we have full sight, but it's half range. Because if we go here, we have half a yellow eyeball, but we can flank in later yes. turns. So I'm curious if we need to go that route. I wonder if we just kind of leave them coming up this way. Yes. I think we do, because they their throw knives is just is just awful in terms of the amount of damage that it really does. So I think that this is what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna wait. Guard up and I'll throw yes. some knives. Flanking with a bunch of attacks for our archers, which I think is going to be really important. I don't know about really important. It'll be nice to get their experience level up. Goblin Shaman. We can heal up two people. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal, them. heal up these guys. Um, these are our other goblin archers. Which has a pretty good chance of killing them. Not quite. Let's see. Why don't they die when they're down to one? Yes. Does it have does it have something to do with melee? I don't know. And we'll go ahead and give the last one over to our apprentice because hey, he's a rather permanent unit that we want to see get buffed the heckin' Heckerston up. Some random faction likes it. Yeah, I don't know. This is... I don't know how much this matters, because I mean, theoretically, I think that we wind up fighting with everyone. I don't actually know, but I think we wind up fighting with everyone, so I don't know why it matters whether factions like us or dislike us. So we get this. We get two research a day and two gold a day, and we are told to go on over to this city. Okay. We can do that. Once again, I don't know if this other city is like for a different faction or not. We didn't really get a good opportunity to know if it was from another faction or not over here. And I guess I've never showed you guys the um, the large map. So this is the large map overall. Um, so we only see kind of like a tiny part of it. So it's a, it's a relatively large map, which is pretty nice. What does this do again? Um, units here just regenerate extra amounts. So this didn't actually do really anything for us except for give us some magic and research. I thought that it gave us another um, unit production slot for some reason. We're going to go over this way. We're going to try and meld with that all fire. These guys, there's two dudes. Let's go ahead and let's fight them. 
because they're on the road, which I think gives us a little bit of extra movement, and then we can go over to that other little side quest place. Start battle! Humans, elves, and dwarves. Which dwarves, of course, are the best ones. I find myself playing as elves a lot because I like the playstyle of elves a lot, but dwarves just objectively are the way better race. That's just that's just how it is. Okay, so if we go over here, we've got some eyeballs with which to see. So let's do that, and we'll move these guys on up. Got a pretty decent range capability. Some eyeballs and some interesting places. We're gonna go here. Oh man, they don't do well against this damage. This, just these purity militias. Be able to because they moved here first, so they couldn't actually get around them. They took two actions to move, so they're gonna attack us once, and we're gonna spend one action to retaliate. We are gonna be able to attack quite a bit. Is one of them flanking? No. Not one of them is flanking. We're gonna attack these guys over here, give them the burning, so we're gonna do an extra damage to them is awesome. We're going to give out some healing spores. And the reason why we're going to do that specifically is because not only does it heal them, but it also or berserk shrooms, I guess. It also gives them plus six melee damage, which is going to be big. So we're going to go ahead and attack them twice. They're going to counterattack, but um, it'll do a lot of damage. So yeah, we have one of them a little bit injured, but really not too bad. And we've gotten some victory! And we might have fared better if we had attacked them, but with the goblin shamans, but they're, they were resistant to that white magic. So, yeah. Plus one speed or plus one armor. I mean, I like the speed, but I think that survivability with how low health they have is important. I'm hoping for armor or health, neither of which we got, so some damage or some speed. I think that probably the damage is going to be a little bit better. Not by a lot, though. It's really that the, the speed that we're looking for there. Um, I think that Probably we are going to wind up getting in a little bit of a battle, but I think we can probably heal these guys. Let's see. They get their focus back after after each fight, so we can heal them if we go through with this. So it's been some time since we've heard any dispute over these fields. Recently, though, um, humans have begun harvesting again, and uh, elves are upsetting spaghetti about that. So now there's uh, some elven rangers doing some stuff. And they came out and they said, We tried to talk, but we were lenient for too long. Ellen's wrath will wash this village clean. Um, so should we stand with the elves or should we stand with the humans? Hmm. If we stand with the humans, we have to fight, slash get to fight. If we stand with the elves... They're probably going to destroy the village. And I don't know what we get. Either way. I don't know that I care about what's going on in the village. I don't know if I care too much about that extra crafting of the runes. So. Hmm. We craft.
craft um, glyphs faster. And glyphs, it would be nice to start really like pumping gl our dudes full of glyphs. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm, I think I'm going to side with the elves just to see what we get out of it. Alluvian is upset with us, but we get a bunch of stuff. So we join the ran the rangers defending them as the trains stomp the village to the ground, and the elves are happy about that. At least these ones. Um, and we just grabbed a bunch of crap from the humans. So a vial of noir. Um, oh, and it provides the vial of noir skill in battle, where they can throw it at people and they get oh, minus 100 death damage resistance. None of my stuff does damage, death damage right now, but we can give glyphs to where we can make people actually deal or have all their damage move over to death. So that's pretty cool. It's a point to every eff essence you already have invested. Ooh, that's cool. Don't know exactly how useful that is unless we're having a huge conglomeration. Wheat is fine, I guess. But extra gold, which is nice. This is interesting. Yep, and the village was absolutely decimated. As we thought, Sauron unlocked adventures. The adventure in this location. Which location? Oh, this location. Down over here. You can only be locked by the crystal on your tower to access it, the domain of your tower must reach this location. So we'd have to lift it up and move it on over this way. And holy cow, that's a lot of gold and research. Which is pretty cool. And definitely something that we want to deal with. I wonder if I should send some of these, or if I should just make, I should just make a couple of like, um, harvesters and miners and go out over to these different nodes so that I can really start pumping out glyphs like nobody's business. For right now we're going to keep on going over here to the right. something that I wanted to do. Yes! I wanted to do this. We can make more studies or more workshops. I wonder if we get different types of rooms as we go on. We have different, so we get extra stack slots. Does that mean, oh, that means um, hiring stack slots. Okay. Which is nice and important. Um, so that's actually really nice. That'd be really nice to get to. Room extensions are not unlocked yet. Oh, so at some point we can extend some rooms. That'd be cool. I do want to put some artifacts onto my Equip your dude. Pay attention to what kinds of artifact slots each hero or apprentice has, and as that affects what artifact, as that affects what they can equip. Find artifacts by playing adventures, visiting an artificer. I am an artificer, or crafting them yourself. I'm an artificer. I can craft those myself. I've decided. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, he needs that XP buff. And should I give him the lesser glyph of Bowman? Gives him more missile damage. Does this count as missile damage? Yeah, let's go ahead and actually give him that glyph of Bowman. Well, let's see if it, we can make a better glyph. So or that we have, we can use this as the ore. Ooh, we can get a death one going. It grants Holy Warrior, 
which deals 6 damage against units that are undead. And, or we can make a Cutthroat Glyph, which gives us 10% more loot, which I don't particularly care about. Um, adding in life cancels out the death here, because it's life or death, so either purple or green. So, let's grab some, what else do we have in here? What else can we put that would make a difference? Nothing it looks like. It looks like nothing would make a difference. Because we don't have anything else. That. Because if we add in this, it doesn't, nothing winds up happening. It <laughs> can't be brought as it is. Oh, maybe because, so like these little slots show you what they they are. Maybe this can go in here when we unlock that. Or maybe it unlocks at a different time. I don't know. Either way, the glyph of the cutthroat is not for us. Let's grab this and then see about putting in two ashes and see what that does. Gives us a greater glyph of bowmen which gives us two missile range which is really nice actually two missile damage or two missile range do like the missile range a lot do like the missile range I wonder if just doing it this way we use the glyph of the fire wilder. Let's go ahead and make two glyphs of the fire wilder. Fire wilder. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do a glyph of the fire fire wilder and a glyph of healthy. Because that will doing that sort of stuff gives us. Um, better glyphs with more, like, you know, little bullet points in each, so that we can stack more of them together and make better glyphs. So, let's do that and start up that little train of getting better and better at making glyphs. And we'll enter. We've got Oh, what is this, a little mosquito or something? Faction promotion. It's five mana a day. That's cool. They have... Oh. People from a nearby village come and search for help. Last night, our treasury was emptied. You are part of a village, and you have a treasury? That's kind of crazy. We don't have the power to go after them, even though they left a clear trail. Without the gold, we cannot play the king's attack. Uh, sounds like I'm going to be able to fight someone, so um, let's do it. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of different, <laughs> they left a clear trail that goes off in 12 different directions. Yeah, we got little, little mosquitoes, hornets. Little, yeah, yeah these guys need to die for sure. Why? Because hornets are the worst. I hate all wasp hornet type things. I dislike bees, but I hate all wasp hornet type things. So they definitely need to die. Get out of here. You are not welcome in this land. They're flying across moving around. I bet you they probably move faster than most of my units. But they're definitely melee oriented. They were tier 2, or sorry, tier 1, so I didn't really think to look too much at what they have. Yeah, just melee attacks. They have piercing attacks, which is um, probably pretty good for them. Oh, that's right. We left these guys having <laughs> the, two <laughs> the two archers. Um, 
necessarily good. Let's see. Move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get the protectors. Okay, move back here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back in here. Let's get let's get all the way back up in here. All right. Yeah, because it looks like they're charging towards us with single-minded abandon. Fallen right into my trap. Sight penalty of minus some amount. If we go here, then we don't have that penalty. So, let's do it. Get a little bit more damage out of it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, that yes. is an unfortunate occurrence. Can't see, can't see, can't see. Well, hmm. Hmm. Huh? We have, oh, really good chance to do a bunch of damage right there, which is fantastic. We might move these Earth Shapers up because they're going to come in they're going to attack them they come around there they're going to do too much damage to those earth shapers they come over to hit these goblins though and that's not going to be a good time so these earth shapers are going to be pivotal to our defense and these guys can go ahead and attack there that's fine bring it on sister we move there, works where we are right now. We have a range penalty and a sight penalty. We go up here, and we just have a ranged penalty. So I don't know if that actually was that much better or not, really, but we can't tell before doing it. So, we're here. It's interesting that you flew up here and yet still yes. attack the Earth Shapers. Let's have these guys, we'll go ahead and do some healing spores on all of our dudes. Berserk spores. Berserk shrooms. It's healing stuff, okay? Just relax, okay? Just relax. Let's see, are you guys? You guys are just level one. Are you guys level one? You guys are also level one. Both with 16 experience, so it doesn't matter who attacks. So long as one of you does. Victory! I don't actually know if I mind the all-ranged group. It might might be a whole lot better than I'm thinking it will be, because these guys are pretty tough and my hero is pretty tough. We'll see, I guess. We've got focus or willpower. Let's do some focus. They've got a lot of willpower, so let's do some focus. They might get cooler skills down the road. Probably not, but who knows? Willpower or daily regen. If they're get if my shaman is getting hit a bunch, then we've already lost. So let's go ahead and do some of that willpower. Uh, we got some health or some speed. Um, hmm. let's go ahead and do the health just to make them a little bit more survivable in case they get hit. They shouldn't, but. Missile damage, way better than anything else that we can get, other than potentially range. So, Alluvian, it's a fan of us doing that for some reason. I don't even need to cast aid on them. Well, we are at time here. 
we figured out a little bit of this nonsense of getting our hero all jazzed up. And we've got some more motion in the ocean in terms of getting some of these fights going. So we'll keep trucking on. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you all stay beardy out there.